Hi, in this video today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you and I recommend you to read the questions and uh, choose the answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. How would one explain a test cross involving F1 T-hybrid flies in which more parental type of spring than recombinant type of spring are produced? And here are the five answers to choose from. Let me start with the end of the list. Both of the characters are controlled by more than one gene. And when we have uh, one character that uh, controlled by more than one gene, there is a uh, uh, good chance that such genes located on the different chromosomes and they would segregate randomly. So they would uh, give us about 50% uh, segregation and uh, recombination. So we can cross out this answer and uh, answer D, the test cross was improperly performed and uh, this is not the case. Uh, this is what can be normally observed in the different uh, experiments with uh, genes when we can find if the um, genes are linked or not. So answer C, recombination didn't occur in the cell during meiosis and uh, recombination uh, doesn't occur during mitosis and uh, during meiosis it's always a cure so this is also uh, not correct answer and answer B is the two genes are unlinked and as I already told when we have two unlinked genes uh, we would have a segregation of the genotypes so uh, new recombinant genotypes would equal to parental genotypes so we would have for example um, take a look here uh, when we have two chromosomes and when we have uh, one gene that is capital A another capital B and uh, small a and small b and when there is a long distance between these two genes uh, on the two um, homologous chromosomes uh, there can be uh, a lot of chances where crossing over can happen and when uh, these two genes are located very far away on the different um, edges of the chromosome uh, recombination rate would be about uh, 50% so two genes A and B would behave as if they are on the uh, different chromosomes. And of course when uh, two genes are on the uh, different chromosomes uh, they would also give us uh, random uh, results during uh, meiosis so they would recombine freely and uh, there wouldn't be any linkage but, but when the distance between two uh, genes are uh, small enough we can say that uh, these two genes are linked for example imagine that the distance between them would be uh, half what I already show you, for example, uh, gene B would be here and uh, allele small b would be here. So the distance would be twice less than in the first example. And as you see, the rate of recombination would be also decreased by half. So we can call that these two genes A and B would be linked and uh, the pattern of the inheritance uh, would be uh, we would observe more uh, this genotype and this genotype uh, than uh, in the first example when the distance were uh, greater. So uh, imagine that when two genes 
are located uh, on the different chromosomes, uh, we would have uh, genotypes that can be capital A and capital B, about 25%, and uh, small a, small b, also 25%. And uh, this would be our parental genotypes, but uh, due to random segregation we would also have capital A and small b variant in 25% of the cases and small a capital B uh, in also 25% of the cases. So these two would be recombinant uh, and uh, if genes are unlinked we would see this picture but if uh, genes are linked or close enough on the uh, chromosomes and uh, we would see different picture. So parental genotype that is capital A, capital B and small a, small b would prevail uh, because these two genes are located close and there is no much chance for the recombination ha to happen. For example, recombination would be say 10% and um, the rest we would see that uh, would be parental genotypes. So this would be um, 45% of this genotype, 45% of this genotype, and recombinant uh, genotypes would be, say, um, 5% and 5%. So total recombinance would be uh, 10%. So this explains that uh, uh, when two genes are linked, we would see uh, prevailing uh, parental uh, genotypes, that is capital A and capital B, and uh, small a, small b. So let's now move to the next question. New recombinants of linked genes are due to which of the following? And uh, answer A, non-disjunction. And um, this is what you can see, for example, in the trisonomy of the chromosome 21. We also call this uh, Down syndrome. When during meiosis, uh, two chromosomes uh, due to non-disjunction would end up uh, to be in one gamete and when this gamete would join with another gamete so this gamete can be with a sperm or egg cell but when they would join and form zygote there would be one extra chromosome 21 so this is how one can get uh, down syndrome but uh, this wouldn't be recombination. This is just would be the whole uh, extra chromosome. So we can cross out this answer and answer C, independent assortment. And independent assortment means that uh, uh, assortment happens randomly and this is also uh, wouldn't be appropriate uh, answer so we can cross out this answer and answer D mixing of sperm and egg is a physical process that uh, also doesn't affect uh, recombination and uh, we only left with answer B that is crossing over and this is how uh, uh, new variants and uh, recombinants as in our previous example, that is capital A and small b and small a capital B might happen. This is due to crossing over process. So this is our answer. And of course, both A and C wouldn't be correct answer because both of them are incorrect answers. 
And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.